Welcome everyone back to another Clash of Clans video on the channel guys. I hope you do enjoy today's video because I'm trying out a different distance from my microphone at a different level. Usually I'm pretty close to my microphone. I'm trying it out a little bit further actually right now just to see how different it sounds when I do edit my audio. But I hope you guys do enjoy and if you guys do please let me know in the comment section below so that I know the audio sounds okay and that you guys actually like this better than what it's been. So as you guys can see right here on my normal base, we have one builder ready to go. Guys, we also do have three gold mines being worked on and the town hall. Now the town hall is gonna be done in less than seven days. Two of the gold mines are gonna be done in less than 15 hours. The other gold mine I don't really care about right now. So what I want to immediately get started on is working on another gold mine. So this is pretty important that I get all of these done before we hop into the next town hall. We're just gonna start right away with it guys. And don't worry, I know I have a lot of loot and I'm going to be using it for all of these walls very, very soon. We also do have some gold elixir and dark elixir in our treasury. We're gonna be using that probably in the next video, but don't worry guys, like I said, not worrying about that right now. So I actually have a pretty exciting video for you guys all coming out this coming weekend. I have it Friday and Saturday, the videos are pre-recorded, something you guys are not expecting. But for right now, let's stick with today's video. So you guys can see I have quite a bit of Dark Elixir here. I really want to work on upgrading our Barbarian King the moment that we get 150,000 Dark Elixir. That is very important that we actually do get started on that because we want to of course max him out per Town Hall. We can max him out to, I believe, level 50 for this town hall. We'll work on that in our next video, hopefully. But for today, guys, we want to get a couple of attacks done. We do have all of our builders, of course, used up, building some stuff and upgrading some stuff. So let's hop right into a match. I'll show you guys my troop setup really quick. Five Pekkas, two baby dragons, two electro dragons, three archers, just to save some space, one super archer, six wall breakers and seven party wizards let's hop right into a match guys and i'll see you all when i'm there Alrighty, so guys we found a pretty amazing base as you guys can see this should be a pretty easy three star the only thing i really am worried about is the single attack inferno towers luckily we do have a free spell and guys i do have a method on how i'm actually going to work on taking them out First of all, I do want to get rid of these outer buildings, save us that time later on. We're going to just put our last archer right over there, put our super archer right there, guys. And the method that I really want to go with, actually, because we do have two firework stashes right in here, we're just going to put wall breaker, wall breaker. There we go, guys. Just take them out. Put two P.E.K.K.A.S. We're going to rage both areas, actually, as well as heal spell both areas. Put down the rest of our P.E.K.K.A.S., follow it up with a couple of these wizards. These party wizards should go to town pretty easily, guys. We're going to then put the Grand Warden and save those P.E.K.K.A.S. right there. Put the rest of our party wizards down along with our wall breakers. We're going to then free spell, rage spell, hoping that they can get in there pretty quick, guys. We then can use our baby dragons and our electro dragons. Follow it up with our Barbarian King. So we do already have the one star, guys. We still have our Queen and our King's ability and the single shot Inferno Tower that we do have to, of course, worry about. We're gonna use our Queen's ability right here. Save her from dying right there. That is pretty important. We don't want to lose the Queen right away. That is a very, very powerful hero, of course. And we want to, of course, get rid of everything we can around this base. The walls are no match. They're such low level walls. The only thing I am truly worried about right here is the single shot Inferno Tower, guys. Like I said, that is very important. We are able to get rid of it. I think we're going to do fine. The Inferno Tower might just run out of juice, actually, here. Oh, is it going after my Barbarian King? Oh, no, it's going after the Electro Dragon. No, that should be okay, though, guys, because the moment... Yep, there we go. There we go. Look at this, guys. We still have both Electro Dragons left. Our King's ability, we're just going to rage him up. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I didn't really care about the loot there. I only really cared about actually getting the three star, and that was an easy three star on a very low level base. Bada bing, bada boom, guys. Star bonus received. Look at that. More money, more loot in the treasury. Let's go see what we got over here as well. 
we did just complete the Lord of Destruction challenge, gather a total of 1000% destruction from multiplayer battles. What's the reward? It's 1500 elixir. That is of course also going to help us when we need to upgrade a few more walls. That's almost enough to upgrade one wall segment guys. But we do have to just quick train those same troops again. These troops are way too good. We're gonna hop right into another match and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Alrighty, wow guys, we found another base, such a low level Town Hall 9, and I'm not really caring too much about the loot again on this base, guys, this is just, this is insane, look at how easy this base is going to be to actually 3 star, we're just going to take out a couple of these builder huts around the outside, we're going to put our super archer, well I really want to put the super archer at the top, but I'm actually not going to, what I think I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to use the pekkas along this side, just to take out some of these outer buildings, follow it up by wizards, and then a couple wall breakers, because we want to get them right on in there to take out the heroes. Those are going to be very important that we take out right away. That's really all I'm worried about. Follow it up, hopefully they're able to take out these air defenses really quick as well. The moment that the air defenses are down, we're putting down our electro dragon and our baby dragons to follow it up. Guys, get put down a couple more wall breakers, follow it up with a super archer. I don't even think I'm going to need to use any spells on this base, but you know what guys, we're going to heal up our P.E.K.K.A.s over here. It's only one P.E.K.K.A. We're then going to rage the top P.E.K.K.A.s right there, put another rage spell right down there, just to get them going. We're also, just to get the spell done, we're going to put that spell randomly down there, I don't really care where. The um, Barbarian King is just doing a lot of damage right now, he is going to town. We're just going to pop that right in the center. Free spell the rest of them. He's not even going to face a problem taking them down. I completely missed the expo and the Tesla, guys. Wow, I am so surprised I missed them. Like I said, though, I did not even need to use any of those spells, but I did. It was easy for me, guys. There we go. Easy three star. Probably the easiest three star I think we've ever had. That Town Hall 9 didn't even know what hit him. Alrighty guys, another 3 star bonus. Wow, did we just receive 2 3 star bonuses? We also did complete 2 more challenges. Score a perfect 3 star in 3 multiplayer battles, and use poison spells to earn 10 stars from multiplayer battles. Guys, we have 13 days, 16 hours left. We're already at 2400 points for the month. We're literally going to take out all these expos and beat it. We're also going to deploy 300 housing space worth of super troops. Guys, this is way too easy. We also got 1.5 million gold. Guys, that was an insane battle. Way, way too easy. Probably the easiest I think we've ever had. So let's go quick train those same troops again, guys. And that's going to do it for today's video. We are completing everything on this map as we need to. We are getting tons of loot. Guys, we're just doing incredible, killing it on this base. We need to keep doing better though. We need to get some more walls upgraded. That'll hopefully be in the next few videos. My next two videos after tomorrow are going to be pretty exciting though. I hope you guys do enjoy. As always, please be sure to smash that like button. I love you guys so much. Have a good one. Later. Peace.